Well, hello folks. It is the Wednesday evening of our final week of our summer holidays for 2014. And uh, I'm gazing off into a beautiful sun evening silhouette in behind some uh, clouds as we are facing northwest by my compass at beautiful Finland Falls, Ontario, at the bottom of the Finland Falls Loch. And it is another glorious day, as it has been all day long. The last few days we've been really, really lucky. And oh man, the sun is coming out now. <laughs> it's gonna be really bright in my eyes, but I will persevere through this. Anyways, the last probably three days, maybe four days, um, it's been nice, relatively calm, light winds, which has been such a blessing, as I've mentioned in the past, are um, the uh, first week and a half probably of our holidays was um, accentuated by a lot of wind so it's really nice to travel for a few days uh, in relatively calm conditions and as part of this adventure for 2014 what we have done is gone all the way from our home port on Lake Simcoe right down to mile zero of the Trent Severn waterway a distance of approximately 192 miles one way and now we are on our way back and the distance isn't the uh, the issue. The issue is more with the number of locks because we are transcending from Lake Simcoe's level up and then boom, 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 down to Lake Ontario. I should know this, but I can tell you it's something ridiculous, like 500 feet or something, the elevation changes. So it's a lot of locks to transcend. Uh, most days we are hitting boom, 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 lock, lock after lock and when it's windy. It can be quite challenging, especially when this boat is gusseted around uh, by by the wind. But we have come through relatively unscathed to this point. Just uh, we're bringing back a little bit of concrete with us from lock three, I think it was, or lock four when we're heading down. Boat did a little <laughs> sideways uh, push into the lock wall and uh, fortunately hit the rub rail and just one of the Phillips head screws just kind of got filled up with concrete so it's not a lot worse than it was but anyways um, like I say today was a, a beautiful day great day for traveling not hot at all just nice comfortable and first day I was on the water not swept my bum off all, all day long so that was a good thing anyways I will uh, hopefully share with you some some footage we had an interesting um, docking here well actually before the docking uh, hopefully you can see behind me um, the lower reach of the river where it comes out and there's a waterfall right there hopefully the sun doesn't uh, blind you but the waterfall's right behind us so as a result um, we have a current from the waterfall that's boinking down there as well as when they empty the lock there's a lot of water coming around the corner and the blue line here, I'll swing around this way, right behind me, which you can see has not one but three rental houseboats on it for tonight. Um, and blue line is traditionally where one pulls into, which indicates that you want to go through the lock. Um, it was jam-packed full when we approached from downstream. And... Um, we uh, had to hang there and there was three boats behind us so I was in and out of gear and twisting around because I was getting pushed all around by the uh, the current so I'm going to show you a little bit of that video what it, show, uh, what it looked like. To continue on with my story, sorry Anchor Girl uh, um, distracted me there for a little bit because she brought up my supplement pills which I hadn't taken yet with dinner because we went out for a lovely meal here in uh, Fenland Falls and I will be including a link hopefully by the time this video goes live to a review on TripAdvisor because I do a number of reviews for TripAdvisor and happy to say that I am within the top 15% of uh, reviewed viewed reviews on TripAdvisor for the greater Toronto area. Anyways, so uh, I'll throw that up there. We had a great meal. Anchor Girl really enjoyed her fish and chips dinner tonight at the restaurant. I had some uh, beautiful pork chops and it was really good. And a honey Dijon drizzle on top. Anyways, you'll have to read the review and see the pictures that I took. So, like I said, when we we're coming in, it was jam-packed. This little pier that we are tied up on now 
was full of one big boat, which is still in front of us, and one bigger boat, I should say, an aft cabin prowler, I believe it is. Uh, and the rest was filled up, which is uh, a lot of the times the case. At these uh, small popular towns like Fenland Falls, Bob Cage, and Buckhorn, uh, they get filled up during the day with uh, what we call our day boaters. So it's, you know, mostly just little runabouts coming from the local cottages uh, who run into town, you know, bring the kids in for an ice cream, do a little bit of shopping, liquor store, whatever it is. So um, if you're not lucky with your timing for overnighting as we are doing now, you may or may not find a spot. Fortunately for us, we've always found a spot where we wanted to go. And today, the the goal was to come here to Fenland Falls. We're here for uh, tonight. We got here around three, yeah, three thirty, quarter after three, I think. By the time we were all tied up and settled in, and after traveling since just before ten o'clock this morning, uh, Burley Falls, where we where we left, and. Um, um, Getting back to the story, what I was saying, when we got here, we were hoping to spend the night here. I phoned the lock attendants to see what the upper lock looked like, see if there was any space, but they were already full. Uh, it's a great spot because, like I've told you before, they have shore power hookup, electrical hookup, as well as fresh municipally treated water, which scraped the top off the tanks. But anyways, they were full. When we come around the corner, it was jam-packed, there was nowhere to stay, so we were intending just to go through the lock and on to, uh, to Rosedale to see what that was like there, which is the next lock, only a few, about two miles uh, onward from here. But fortunately, by the grace of God, and probably by His hand as well, we were forced to wait down to the bottom, like I said, the blue line was full, there was uh, no room for us to even pull up. I had to spin around, spin around, spin around. So by the time, and it seemed like forever for the lock to drop and, and the boats to come out. And it just so happened, just at that time, boats were coming out, people walked down to this pier and got on to the last couple little boats that were tied up here. Bada bing, bada boom, anchor girl made her attentions clear with one little boat that was coming up beside us. We're going in there, you can't park, that's our spot, we've been waiting for it. And Hell hath no fury like an anchor girl scorn. Believe me, 36 years, I know. Trust me on that one. So anyways, uh, yeah, they were good enough to hold back. Uh, just grabbed the radio. Like I say, there was three boats uh, waiting for us down river behind us, waiting for uh, things to clear up down here. Nobody was going anywhere until uh, the blue line was clear anyways to get through the lock. Uh, so I just read to those guys said, you know, these are intentions. We're just waiting for those people to come off. We're going in, so let's work that out. No problem. That's what we did. Just slid her in here nice, tied up. That little boat came in in front of us. We helped them in, and everybody was happy. The uh, Sea Ram Doral behind me in the Finland River waiting for the bottom of the lock. Uh, do you copy over? We are hoping to get onto the bottom tie-up wall here, and I see the bottom two boats are uh, just packing up to leave. So I'd be more than happy to uh, let you guys pass us, get on the blue line. Do you copy over? Yes, Lord, I'm going to pass on your uh, All right, well, let me spin around here first okay, and be facing you. Coming, so don't. Otherwise, don't take oh. We're going up to that tie-up wall there, where those two we're boats just came there. out. Thank you, Captain. I appreciate it. Okay, it looks like I'm going to be uh, able to sneak in front of everybody here. Appreciate your cooperation.
Stop and breaking. Yeah. It's the eight tomorrow as well. So, like I said, we're here for tonight, tomorrow during the day, and, and uh, tomorrow night as well. It's going to be really nice. We have to hit the liquor store and maybe do just one little, last little bit of uh, food shopping because, like I say, it's Wednesday. We're winding down our holidays for 2014. And um, so by the time we get back to our home port, you know, I don't want to run out and do food shopping again, so we'll, we'll, we'll get all squared away. Now, you probably heard as I spin around, slowly giving Anchor Girl time to prepare herself, her snicker in the background when I said we got to hit the liquor store. Why? What do we need at the liquor store, honey? Um, some wine. More wine. Fortunately, the seats on this boat are really, really wide, so she's not going to fall off of those, but it's all good. Um, and that said, I want to appreciate the comments that we had on the last video of Anchor Girl having an issue with the park bench uh, at the start of our holidays and tipping over. Not due to the wine, but due to the fact that the benches were too thin, and I appreciate uh, one commentator said, he got in touch with Park Skin and is going to make sure those benches are a little wider for next year. That's a good idea. And it's a great idea. And not only that is a good idea for the Trent Severn Waterway and... Any park benches. All park benches <laughs> where, where Anchor Girl is going to be parked with her Vino, White Zippendale. Even though it looks pink and red to me, it's, it's a white wine. Anyways, um, that's... It's a rose. Okay, a rosé. It's a rose. It's a rose wine. A rose by any other name would it smell as sweet? Real quick, because I do have a point to this, and uh, I really think I'm going to be sharing a lot of video with you, background video, so you don't have to look at my uh, ugly mug the whole time uh, of today's trip. That is, um, Anchor Girl and I are looking forward to for 2015. Not only doing this trip that we are, what we've done so far this summer, but continuing on farther along and going up the Rideau Canal. Uh, right now, we have traveled, uh, I should have looked at this before I came up here, but like I said, it was 192 miles down, and now we're back up here, so we're probably at least 140 miles back up. So next year, I really, really, really would love to do down to Trenton, Rideau Canal up to Ottawa, and then maybe even... Ottawa, Montreal, then back down the St. Lawrence Seaway to the uh, Thousand Islands and then back up this way, which will take a long time. It's going to take all summer long. Um, in case you missed it, uh, the, the main impetus for doing this long voyage this year is not just for summer holidays, not time off of work, but it's actually been a working holiday as I've been uh, gathering um, tons of awesome video, which I will be compiling. Uh, moving forward into a full-length feature DVD digital download whatever you want to call it of the entire Trans Severn waterway from a boaters perspective so I hope I can look forward to your support on that and as well next year I will be moving forward with the same plan taking us up to the Rideau Canal and if like I said we get Ottawa Montreal and then down through the South Thousand Islands uh, knock that off as well I'm going to be actively seeking out sponsorship for uh, next year's adventure and um, so if you know anybody <laughs> give them my name and uh, yeah so we're looking forward to that um, the fortunate part the really really fortunate part beyond the fact that we're already living on the boat we love it so much and we have everything we need on board the boat <laughs> except for wine um, is uh, the fact that we, uh, you know, we got it down with doing the locks and uh, what are we, probably 50, probably 60 lockages we've done so far this summer, if not more, 70 maybe, approaching 70. 
Um, so uh, despite the fact that this big boat is not equipped with thrusters, bow thrusters or stern thrusters, and despite the fact that Anchor Girl has suggested to me very strongly that we really need thrusters, we're really good on handling this boat, okay? Yeah. In all conditions, like I say, we've been going through hell with wind and um, brutal. Well, well, brutal. I mean, challenging is the word, challenging. Mm -hmm. and, but it makes an adventure uh, of it. So we're down. We got a system and we're good. Approaching and exiting the locks. So yeah, look forward to your, your comments. If you have any questions, if there's any areas that you would maybe like to see a little bit more about. Uh, of course, in my DVD production, uh, it's going to be an expanded view of the waterway. And uh, I've already got in mind a few features moving forward that I, I think you'll find uh, enjoyable, entertaining, and just a fun thing to watch. Even if you don't have a boat of your own. I know there's a lot of followers out there that aren't necessarily boaters, but just love to see the areas that we travel. And I'm, lo uh, I'm loving to share it, and I'm looking forward to going far there next year and years down the road. I've got a big game plan as to where we're going to go, uh, not only by boat, but by car. Final thought, I'm going to wrap up as Anchor Girl laughs, because you know she tells me I talk too much, but that's okay. Um, uh, this coming winter, remember we're summer 2014 and moving into 2015, uh, the winter I am done with, so we will be heading south to Florida by car. The boat's going to be put away by that point, of course. Gone to bed and we will uh, take the car and head south down I-95 to Palm Trees, Sandy Beaches. Where exactly we're going to end up in Florida, I don't know, but we will be sharing that adventure with you as well because there's so much beauty. As much as we have up here in the summer, there's as much of that down south in the winter to share with you guys and keep you all going and keep everybody warm because that's what that's all about come winter time. Palm trees, sunshine, beaches, and ice cold Corona beer with limes. So, from Boogaboo 4 at beautiful Finland Falls along the gorgeous Trent Severn Waterway. Good evening. Thanks for following along. Cheers.